this is Rachel in Manatee County Public Libraries, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beaded shell jellyfish. So these are the two samples that I have here, and these are the following materials and supplies that you're going to need for the project. You'll need some thread. This is like a clear plastic thread. I use this because this is particularly strong. I would recommend this over just like sewing thread. You'll need a wooden coaster. You can purchase these at craft stores. You'll need a seashell such as a clam, a pair of scissors, some glue. It can be craft glue or it can be a hot glue gun, a needle, a small needle, so the thread and the beads will go through it. And some beads. Now optionally, you can do a few things first to decorate the surface of the coaster before you do the beads. And so in this one here, I've taken some book pages and ripped them up and glue them on there and then you know, taken some paint and painted it on. And then also this particular one has a magnet on it so you can use it for like uh, put it on the refrigerator or something. This other option here has glitter and sand that's been sprinkled on top of glue. So again these are optional you can do, you can decorate your uh, coaster as much as you'd like, or you can leave it plain. It's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this one plain for the demo. Um, and also, if you want to use a magnet after you decorate the coaster, you can just turn it around and adhere a magnet onto the back. Again, that's just that's just optional. So now you need to prepare your beaded strands. So you're going to take the needle and the thread. You can also do this probably without a needle although it's easier to do it with a needle. And then I've got a whole bunch of little beads here. Then I'm going to string on. So you want to put on the first bead, and then you're going to go through the bead two more times to make sure that it's well stuck on here. Okay. I'm just going to go through it one last time. So this is going to be the end bead. And then I'm going to start to string other beads on. I'm using beads of various sizes and colors and shapes. Um, you can use any beads that you would like. Some of them are seed beads, uh, which are used for uh, like beading projects and stuff. And then others are more distinct shapes, such as these. So I'm just stringing these beads on, and I want to make a string about three or four inches long total. Okay. You can see here I've already made a couple of strands already. So let's see. Yeah, this one is, I just put a couple more beads on it. Okay. 
then when you get to the end of the string, you want to do the same thing you did at the beginning, is to go through the last bead about three times. One, two, three. And then you'll end up with this strand. And then I'm going to take the scissors and snip a strand like this. And then I have two other strands that I already made. So what I'm going to do is tie all these together. We need to get the beads string aligned. Oops. Okay. And then I'm going to do an overhead knot. See what I did? Okay. So now I'm going to cut the excess thread off. In fact, I might double the knot just in case to make it a little bit stronger. There. Okay. So now, with my coaster, I want to figure out <clears throat> where I'm going to situate these beads. And just put some glue on them. If you use craft glue, you're going to need to wait until it dries. And then once you have those beads where you'd like them to be, you can glue down the shell. This is not exactly where I want to glue them. Okay. So you glue the shell on top of the, of the beaded strand. And then you're going to let it dry. And you see how there's still strands of thread that are coming out of these beads here? What you can do is snip them so that it's very close to the bead. It's like this. And then just for added protection, you can add a little drop of glue on the end of each, just to make sure that it doesn't unravel. And I did three beaded strands, but you can do four or five. Again, there's a lot of variables with this project, okay? So I have it glued to where I want it to be. And now I'm basically just going to wait for it to dry. And I haven't decided on this one if I'm going to put a magnet on the back or not. Also, if you decorate it with the beads, and you feel like it's too plain, you can always go back and put some paint in or decorate the coaster in some way or another. Okay, so that is how you make your beaded shell jellyfish.